<laughs> Good night! <laughs> Cleveland, whatever. I broke, I broke into a sweat once again. <laughs> mm. Hello everybody, welcome back uh, to, uh, this time, a takeover uh, for Jackson. Jackson. Yes, yes, yes. I am Danish Pete. I'm Rabia. Oh, Danish Pete. Uh, pff, why am I calling myself Danish Pete? I don't know. Because uh, <laughs> you're Danish and your name's Pete. <laughs> So would have today uh, we are continuing our little uh, escapades into uh, what is new at Charvel, Jackson and EVH. Uh, Rabia, thank you for coming because <laughs> yeah. sweating like that demon you just did there. Um, it's only when I try neither. and play as fast as I can. It's like, it's like cardio. It's really I'm like, even yeah. me, man, was like my arm when you play yeah. <laughs> with a pick. Everything just hurts. With all the gain and drums and everything, you're oh, just it's... like, oh, just, just go for it. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's very loud. Good fun. Um, Good fun. So we are checking out the uh, X new series. X series today. I mean, in the reigns, new as far as we are aware, there are loads of new stuff in the X series. And I think yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to try to put them on screen now because mm -hmm. there are probably 12 new guitars as yeah. far as we are aware. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of sort of quickly take you through them and as I tell you what they are we're going to put them on the screen and if you want any more info on them the links will be in the description as always that's just so helpful it's really helpful so but, helpful and also if you want to watch more videos like this please like and subscribe uh, hit the notification bell and there's more videos up here in the pop-up banner on the left side of the screen top left side but here are some of the guitars that are new there are an X-Series Kelly KEX Shattered Mirror uh, there are a X series Rhodes, an R R twenty four X, which is on the screen now. We have got a, a King V, the K V X M G seven string. Then we have got a, a K E X M, so an X series Kelly in a neon yellow, which looks super cool. Then we have got some Soloist SL3X, uh, different colors there as well. We've got a new throwback series of the Soloist and SL1XDX. They look really cool, like a, like a pink and a taxi cab yellow. Uh, and then you've got a X-series Soloist, the XLXDXM, uh, white with some nice, uh, with a maple board there, looks really cool. And then you got an X-Series Dinky, you got that with a Floyd, and you got some with a heart tail as well, for those of you who don't like Floyds. Then there's a Dinky Series DK3XR in some super cool colors, uh, cobalt blue, neon green, a gloss black with pink. Uh, it's got pink, uh, looks cool, pink pickup surroundings on there. Um, so that's it basically. I mean, it's not it, there's loads. I mean, that there's a fair, amount of, that's a fair amount of guitars <laughs> yeah. to, to bring out. Um, and that's just in the X series. Yeah. And we haven't touched on the Pro yet. Well, you watch the videos. Um, but then let's start with the bass. Start with the bass. Start with the bass. So the basses are the Spectra, not the Spectre. It's close, isn't it? It's very close. Uh, the SBX series. It's a very popular body on here. <laughs> Mabel nice. neck, Laurel fingerboard. Um, compound fra uh, radius fretboard from 12 to 16. It's got some really cool um, electronics here, high, which I'm going to take you through in a minute. High mass bridge, which is a strong through the bridge here, mm -hmm. so a proper solid bridge. Cool Jackson pickups on here, which with this little switch we can split, which is very cool. I like it. Um, just cool looking, two colors here, and then I've got, you've got a, a five string version as well in a couple of cool colors as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna play that. I'll try in the end jam maybe <laughs> yeah. or something, but it's um, you know all the same specs, and again, links will be below on these. Um, so the, the, to take you through the, um, the EQ system, or EQ, EQ? Yeah. It's an active circuit, mm -hmm. uh, and like the Jackson, uh, sorry, the Chavel we looked at, it's got a passive, active passive ah. uh, system. So when you pull it out, um, your three band EQ, which is bass, middle and treble, just... Oh, so it becomes passive. It'll be, it just becomes a passive circuit. You're still able to split the pickup. Which is really, really cool. Uh, I'm running through a little Fender rumble here, you're hearing the DI signal. Um, then you have got... You can hear that. There you go. It, you get that sort of... the the. the the hiss from the, but I had, I had this treble all the way up. So these are treble, middle and bass. You've got a little notch there in the middle, so you know where 12 o'clock is. 
I was really excited about that yesterday when we did the oh, video. Did when I found it, I was like, oh, it needs a knot on it. And then I found it. And it was like, oh my God, it's, it's got one. Yeah. yeah. And again, this uh, here is a blend um, for the pickup. So you can blend it. You either have the back pickup okay. or the front pickup, or you can put it in the middle. Um, I'm a middleman myself. You're a middleman myself. You're a middleman yourself, not myself. Here's the passive circuitry. <laughs> You would probably play a bit more like a... With the pick, maybe like that. Um, and then you can blend the pickups here. So let me go back to the, the, the bridge pickup. Play like a guitar player, of course. <laughs> and then uh, that's the neck pickup. That's it's good sound, good sound, yeah, good sound. Pick up sound, good. Um, and again, you can split that so you can. You get that slap and a slap. Yeah. The... I'm not a slapper, but. Oh, yeah, um, good. That kind of it's thing. It's kind of got a P bass vibe to it. Yeah, it's, it's really nice, man. There's loads of selections in here. And then I'll go to the uh, to the active circuit by clicking in. And you got your bass. I mean, loads of bass in there. The mid. You can split <laughs> yeah. it, you know, you can get that. Or you can. Hang, I was hang, just hang, on hang, the front. Hang. in the middle position for this one. Full mid. <laughs> Playing it such, like it's such good. a guitar player. Uh, so I do apologize for that. Lots so, of tones. There's so much tone in yeah. here. And then you got the, the, the treble, which you can hear. And then we put an overdrive on the amp. Oh, and I'm turning it off lots. again. But loads of tones, and again, uh, yeah. So the pickups and the EQ system is the same on this one. You can see this is like a burl top here. This is a satin finish as well. Satin finish next. This is a gloss one. So that's 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 kind of a different. It's got a different string on it. Another string, really thick string. A low B. And then they've put on this um, Santa Claus's. Uh, it's like a little <laughs> upside <laughs> yeah. down. I actually like that. It's very understated, isn't it? This little J. It is I, nice. I like actually, it. Yeah. Headstock is cool. Nice tuners on there. Anyway, that's the that's the basis. I don't think we need to go into it. We're trying to keep this video short. So if you do have any questions. They are doing a takeover on all our social media, so you can go over and ask questions about all these new models, you know, what's the pickups and all that stuff, or there'll be links below. There you go. So, over to you, Ruby. You've got two sexy things there to show me. I do, I certainly do. The first one I'm holding is the Jackson Soloist SLXDX. Oof! Okay. And first thing I'm gonna say is, if you ever watched that John Petrucci instructional DVD from back in the day, which we all used to watch when we were here, I watched it, and he had his Ibanez and it had that like Picasso style paint job. This color is called multi camo. As you could probably work out, there are multi different, there are a, a variation of colors. <laughs> multi -camo. And it's, it's a camo <laughs> sort of finish. But anyway, um, what can I tell you about this guitar? It's basswood body, Laura fretboard, 24 frets. It's got Jackson high output active pickups. Yeah. It's got a Floyd Rose special. Okay. which is like a budget version of the Floyd Rose trim system. Uh, Three-way toggle, tone, volume, which don't split because we've got actives in there. Yeah. So of course there is a battery compartment on yeah. the back. Obviously you can see here, neck through, gloss finish, Jackson tuners, locking nut, shark fin inlays. It's worth pointing out this is the entry level. So these are about 449, five strings, five, uh, 549. That's about 729. Yeah. So these are these are the sort of the the low entry Jackson models. Yeah. Crafted in Indonesia. Um, I must admit it's set up really really nicely. Yeah. Nice low action, good string gauge. 
Uh, what else could I tell you about it? Well, it actually sounds pretty good. Well, let's ha let's have a listen. So I'm running it into an EVH 5153 6L6 model, and I got some of the new Universal Audio uh, effect pedals on the floor. Reverb, I got the Golden Reverberator and the Starlight oh. Echo Station. Beautiful. So let me give you some clean tones let's first. So that's the clean, of course, mm, it's nice. Lovely. Uh, the pickups are good. Um, I feel like they're voice more for, for high gain. Yeah. Though. So the, the mean, it looks like it wants a bit of uh, yeah. destruction. So, crunch? Well, gain. gain. That, yeah, I mean, for, for that style of playing, it, the guitar plays really well, the pickups sound great, the Floyd Rose has got a nice action on it. I would say the fine tuners are a little bit like, <clears throat> but apart from that... Uh, it's worth pointing out as well, these are all the first, uh, these are like uh, prototypes, the guitars have been sent oh, over from America. Oh, right. So these are the only ones at the moment, so you might, you know, might, might notice little stickers on them and stuff, so... I see, that's um, what the J894 is, Yeah, I'm so assuming. so we basically got them straight sent from America to do these videos on it as a first. So we, it's, it's really cool, actually. Hot off the press. Hot off the press. Um, yeah, well, I have to say, I like this one. It's It looks cool as well. Really you know. easy to play, sounds yeah. good. Yeah, I did have a little fiddle there before you turned up this morning, and it's really lovely. Um, I mean, I could just quickly show you this, just just to show you. It's the five-string version. It's like a popper uh, finish. Again, low board. It's a neck. The neck goes through here as well. Construction like the same one here, but a nice satin finish. And if I should have a base, I should have it in this color, I guess. Um, yeah. Well, I'm personally yeah. holding a guitar that I have a real affinity with. Um, oh, really? I mean, I really connect with this kind of guitar. Certainly, my kind of guitar. I'm actually not a fan of these at all. Not just personally. Of course, I know they're really popular, but for me, I you know I want to play a guitar like this, which I can't do here. Yeah, it is quite. It is. Yeah. I but did the loop at the beginning with that on, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm sitting like this, and I feel like a classical player. Somehow. Yeah, I, you um, know, I get it. They, they look not, great on the that. stage. You know, like if you're holding it and you're doing the power oh, yeah, stance yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. really cool. Yeah, um, it is a cool shape. So yeah, basically, this is from the same series. This is from the X series. Yeah, yeah. This is, of course, your V version. And this is in winter camo, I believe. Yeah. There's two colors. Black camo, even. It's, it's worth pointing out there's two colors of each of these. Yeah. So they'll be on screen now. Yeah, so this is the black camo Oof. V. And it's pretty much identical uh, in terms of spec, uh, except we've got individual volumes and a tone, whereas we just have volume and tone for that one, which is cool. So you can blend pickups slightly differently. Uh, but again, Floyd Rose. Special, uh, high output, active Jackson pickups, 24 fret, Laura fretboard, neck through, uh, V, of course. Yeah, um, reverse headstock. Reverse headstock, Pops control you, eye out. enjoy the badass look of a reverse headstock. This is, this is, this is what it sounds like. I mean, I'm just gonna say right there that I cannot play V's. Like, I'm holding it up to try and <laughs> it's play. A, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. It's but, when you have to stand up to play a V, man. You do. Yeah. And one thing I would say straight off the off the off, out of the gate is this got a really nice sounding pickups for lead when you're holding those notes with lots of reverb. <laughs> Like, 
what, what it, amp it, are you using there, Rabir? That's the no, EVH 5153. Nice. 50 watt head. Yeah. But yeah, like, I think these are designed for shreddy, metal-y stuff. Because it seems like that's where it feels most comfortable. I agree. I'd, provided I'd, that you have... Blues? Happy with... Maybe not so much. No, maybe not so much blues. Um, but I would, yeah. And for me, I'd buy this one over this one just because of the shape. But also... Um, yeah, I think they're really good. I, there think, we go. they, I think they sound I mean, good for the money. There you go. Links are below for this uh, for these X series and um, check out. There's going to be links for all the new stuff as well. And if you've got any questions, pop over now. If you missed it, then you know just have a look at the links below, and I'm sure we'll get some of the other models in and do some videos on them in the near future. Yeah. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, please thank like, you. subscribe, and uh, we shall see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.